Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna unbox my Breville, the Smart Waffle Pro Waffle Maker, and you want to stay all the way till the end of this video because after I unbox this waffle maker, I'm gonna make some delicious Belgian waffle for you guys. So stay tuned for that and I hope you'll find this video helpful because if you have been following me for a while, you guys know I got my espresso machine by Breville in April and then I got a food processor, also Breville around May, June and recently I got a juice Fountain Plus by Breville and I absolutely love the fresh juice, the taste of fresh juice. So of course I have to add this waffle maker by Breville into my Breville family because I just absolutely love chicken waffle. So every time when I go to the restaurant, I always, especially brunch, I always order chicken waffle. So I figured, you know what, might as well just get a waffle maker, but not any waffle maker. It has to be the Breville, the smart, Waffle Pro is because it has the built-in smart technology. It will let you make different kind of waffle. For example, the Belgian waffle, classic waffle, and can customize in chocolate and buttermilk, all kind of waffles that you like. So I'm going to unbox this and I just want to give you guys a take look. And this one is the four squares. You have a choice of two squares or four squares, but I, choose four squares because you know what not just making waffle for myself i want to make it for my friends and family so yeah without further ado let's go ahead open this beautiful waffle maker okay first off you have this the smart waffle pro manual it's the booklet and this model is m it this model is bwm 640 um Anyway, I'm gonna put the model number on the screen and you do get a booklet and you can also download the uh, PDF file online. Uh, the next one is, okay, one year limited product warranty. If you register, making sure you register your product. Yeah, and let you guys see the box. You see that's the four square, okay? And I'm gonna put this down and slice it out. Ooh. Move it here. Move it here. Okay. Oops. What is it? Oh, it has this uh, measurement cup. Measuring cup here. I mean, what I love about uh, all the uh, Breville kitchen appliances, they have the, the plug has this little hole here. So it's very easy for you to unplug from the outlet. So this is one thing I really like about. And uh, okay, so this is the waffle machine right here. And it has the locking right here. This is the locking. So you can lock it and put it in your cabinet. So when I unlock it and I remove the film, and you see this has the four square, four square, and you cannot remove this. That's one thing uh, you wanna keep that in mind. You cannot um, remove inside the plates. And I'm going to measure the dimension of this waffle maker so you get an idea whether you have the counter space or you want to choose something smaller. And so let's take a look. Uh, the width of this waffle maker is about 11 and a half, 11 and a half. And the depth of this waffle maker, of course, you have to include with the handle. Uh, that would be something like a Let's see. Yeah, around five, five and a quarter. And uh, the, the, long, the length of this waffle maker is about 13 and a half, 13 and a half, almost 15, 14. So this is a huge, it's a very big waffle maker. So uh, if you have a family, uh, you definitely want this size. But if you only, um, you know, live in a, 
apartment and just probably a couple. You probably can get this two squares one. And, and uh, I'm gonna peel it. Okay, and what I like about this waffle maker, because like I said, it's the smart technology. Uh, it has the built-in smart technology and it let you choose different kind of, it, they call it waffle IQ. It let you pick different waffle. It has Belgian waffle, it has classic waffle, it has, you can even make chocolate, buttermilk waffle and then you can customize it. There is a custom button for you to customize and it depends how much batter you put it in and it will base the batter you put in and automatic calculate the cooking time. So there is no air on making your waffles at home. And also there is another feature for this uh, waffle maker that is you can pick how dark, how light is your waffle. So that is really cool. And you can just, you know, and you can just uh, kind of, um, you know, making the turn here, maybe this is a turn, the wheel, light or dark. And you, if, if you don't think the waffle is cooked enough and you can, you know, press this, uh, I think there's a button that you can press, you can cook it a little bit longer. So I'm going to make the demonstration so you know how this waffle makers uh, work. And uh, yeah, let's, let's make some waffles. So I got all the ingredients prepared already. I will put the ingredients in the description box so you get an idea because I don't want to take too much time to uh, go through each one. Uh, so all the uh, dry ingredients already in this Bowl, so I'm gonna give it a stir. Just give it a quick stir. And as you can see, I'm calling for two eggs and I separate them, two yolks and uh, the egg white. So uh, I'm gonna put the egg yolk uh, in my dry ingredient, okay? And um, I'm going to beat the uh, egg white in a separate bowl. I'm gonna put it here have a hand mixer that's great if you don't you can use hand but i think hand mixer is better which is i'm gonna use this hamilton uh, bowl rest this uh, mixer to uh, beat the egg white and i also have two cups of uh, milk that i will uh, put it in to my dry ingredient to mix it all together and also i will call a uh, one teaspoon of vanilla extract so i'm going to uh, go ahead beat the egg white and i'm going to show you how to put all the ingredients together to make a delicious belgian waffle batter About two to three minutes, uh, you just have to take a look and you will see it's become uh, like a foam, you know, your egg white. So uh, it's best to have a uh, hand mixer, you know, the one like this one, you know, the Hamilton bowl rest hand mixer. And in this dry ingredient, I already put in my uh, egg yolk. So I'm going to mix everything together. I'm going to slowly pour the milk in. This is too cups of milk so i'm going to pour in as i give it a whisk and you just have to kind of do it slowly and slowly pour in my milk and once you incorporate everything the last step is to put in this foam fold it into your batter. So I'm gonna work on that and I will be right back. The batter is ready and I'm going to put the uh, egg white foam into my batter. So just slowly pour it in, you know, a little bit at a time, slowly pour it in and just kind of fold it, you know, fold it over like this. Fold it, just kind of everything pour in until you're mixing one. So now I'm going to turn it on, let's see. Okay, now you see the screen here, I hope you can see it. Now it says heating, okay, you see the word heating? Okay, so uh, the 
The color level set between light to dark and currently is set in the middle. So right now is heating, so heating. So I'm gonna wait till the waffle maker is preheated, finished, and then I'm gonna put half a cup of my batter that I just made into the machine. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of nervous because this is my very first time using this waffle maker and I don't know. Uh, I hope it's gonna be successful because I know the recipe is correct. So right now still heating and uh, you can adjust the, you know, the dark level and all that, but I'm gonna adjust in the middle and yeah, the dial right here so you can see. So I guess when it's ready, it's going to beep and then I'm gonna open the lid and I will, this is my measuring cup, I will use half a batter and uh, to make four waffles. It's almost, ooh, did you hear the beep? It literally take about 10 minutes. So, okay, I'm going to open it. I will use this one because this is literally half a cup. Okay, so I will pour it. the lid and as you can see five minutes and 12 seconds as you guys can see I'm gonna bring my camera here you see the overflow right here that's the feature the good part is that there is like a you know area that can catch all the extra the excess batter I can already smell the waffle because as you can see the clock showing about 45 seconds left and uh, the waffle is almost ready. I couldn't wait and Sarah just arrived. Sarah, you want to say hi? Can you, can you guys see Sarah? All right. And um, I'm going to show her and I'm going to plating and um, yeah, I'm making waffles today, but I did not make fried chicken because I don't know how to make fried chicken so this is kind of like a semi homemade I got some fried chicken from the store Kentucky <laughs> so uh, yeah I'm gonna do the plating and I also got some uh, maple syrup from the store so I'm gonna go grab it you see it you hear it okay so now we're gonna open this Woo! Can you guys see it? I'm gonna give you guys a closer shot. Oh my God, looks so beautiful. Okay, so now I am going to get these waffles out. Let's take some effort to get this out. All right. Seems like it's not easy to get out. All right, so I'm gonna turn it off. why it's not easy to get out but I don't want to burn myself so okay as you guys can see I'm gonna I don't know it's, it's it seems kind of stick a little bit for some reason I don't know why okay this so see if Sarah can come in Sarah yes. would you like to give it a taste test let's see we're gonna share this one okay this it's supposed to be crunchy from the outside so a fluffy inside First impression, I think the outside is a little bit too crispy. Mm. For your side, it's okay. Okay. Mm. What do you think? I think so. So maybe 
I'm gonna adjust the uh, the level, the toast level probably at four, not at five. But this is definitely tastes better than Fire last one. Error. Yeah, but this is definitely better than the last time when we made waffle, right? I don't know. I wasn't here. The last time when you made you the waffle, here? I was here. Yeah. Oh, I missed Sarah. Well, but it's good. It's a good try. Mm hmm. It's Okay, so this is the second batch that I made, and I set the uh, level of uh, darkness into one, two, three, four, four. So I really, I think this is much better. So thank you for watching this episode of my Brevo, the Smart Waffle Pro. I love waffle chicken or chicken waffles, so uh, I homemade some waffles, but put in some fried chicken from the store. You can easily make that. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, please comment below and like this video and subscribe. And I'm getting really hungry now. And Sarah is making me some mimosa. Does mimosa go with the chicken waffle? Please comment below and let me know. Thank you so much and happy cooking.